Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Born of Levi. You're now tuned in with the Born of Levi experience. I want to thank you guys for coming in and checking in this video. Man, you're in for a treat for this one, man. But if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button and also hit the bell for the notifications when I come in with new stuff, man. I'm dropping new things every time I can. Uh, all right. I mean, I'm going to try to. So, you know, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode, man. And, and I'm going to talk about a topic that's been on my mind since the inception. OK, of social media platforms. Right. The title is Are Your Quotes Worth the Post? Right. Yes. Are your quotes worth the post? Because, you know, uh, this video was actually brought to you by, you know, my fellow Instagram um, followers. I took the liberty to go through some of their stories and to look at a lot of the quotes that a lot of people post almost every day. There's always a quote. Somebody's always posting a quote. I don't know what it is, but people are always posting quotes. So I want to I took the liberty to um, <laughs> to screenshot some of these quotes and I'm going to read it back to you guys. And you guys tell me, was that quote actually really worth the post? Right. And I and I always question to see to say to myself, like, yo, are these people actually living according to these quotes? Right. Or, and, and in actuality, was that post even worth posting? Right. So we're going to get into it, man. So I'm going to read the post. Right. I'm going to read these quotes that was posted. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to say, you know, you know, uh, the Instagram followers page. I'm not going to shout them out. You understand? I don't want nobody getting offended. Right. So we're going to I'm going to read these posts off and, and we're going to talk about it. You tell me what you think. Right. So the first post <laughs> that I took the liberty of screenshotting was this. It says you can you can jab the entire planet, but you can't feed the starving. Think about it, y'all. You want to make sure everybody gets the jab, but the very people who needs food, you won't feed them. Hmm. Interesting. Right. That was a great post. I, I actually think that was great. Right. Now, let's look at this quote right here. Someone quoted and said, the white man says, wear a mask and live. Do we obey? Yes. God says, keep the commandments and live. <laughs> Do we obey? No. So who's really your God? Mm, that is tough. Who's really your God? So you mean to tell me you could listen to what they tell you to do and obey it with no pushback? I'm going to wear the mask. I'm, I'm all here in the streets. I can't breathe. But the most high God tell you keep his commandments and you question that? Come on now. Great post. This was a great post. I think this was worth the uh, worth the post. Right. Next post says this. Right. This one was this one was really good, too. It says call their bluff. Make them fire millions of us. <laughs> I like that. I like the energy on that one. Make them fire millions of us. Make them kick millions of us out of college. Make them find your businesses for not complying and don't pay it. Flood the zone with lawsuits. Their house of cards economy will collapse and things will get very interesting then. Mm, that sounds like a challenge. Imagine if all of us actually band together and did this. Would that make a change? I feel like this was worth the post, man. Beautiful post, right? So now I got this next quote again. Look at this one. This one says this. If you think the government has the right to forcibly jab people for the good of society, what is it to prevent them from forcibly sterilizing people or forcibly euthanizing people or forcibly implanting a tracking device for the good of society? And this quote was from actually from Dr. Lee Heeb, MD. Wow. It's a great post. I like that. That makes a lot of sense. What's stopping them? If they keep pushing and we keep letting them push, right? Great post. Now let's look at this one. Oh, this one was tough too. This post or this quote says this. Thousands upon thousands believe they were right. 
and eight were wrong. <sighs> Yet thousands upon thousands lost their lives because the eight were right. That is why truth is more important than following the crowd. Hmm. I like that. In a day where, you know, people are more so asleep, this is a great post, right? I got another post here that says this. Comparison is the killer of all joy. Good night. Hmm. Comparison is the killer of all joy. Mm, would, I, would, would I agree with that post? Yeah, to a certain extent, because sometimes we have to compare to make sure things are right. And uh, well, that, that, this post is actually, it's thought provoking because if I can't compare whether something is good or bad, what joy am I actually killing? Or if I'm comparing to see, right? Am I like a certain person? Does that kill my joy? Yes, it does. So that could be taken, you know, in a double sense for those who have the eyes to see that. That's a great post, right? Um, I see this post too. I'm going to read this one. It says this. Every time you take them for granted. Woo, listen to this. Every time you take them for granted, you're teaching them to live without you. Mm. thoughts on that one that's the that's a deep saying every time you take them for granted you're teaching them to live without you i'm gonna let that one sink in you guys comment below and let you guys tell me what you guys think that one says right i need to know yeah i gotta tell me what, what y'all think that one says i like that one though all right i got another post right here this one was kind of nice too this one says Make your relationship with God your number one focus, man. I got some spiritual followers, man. I love this. I love this. I, I, and I pray that everybody is, is on that type of time and not just posting these quotes or just at, and really living it. It says, make your relationship with God your number one focus. Know that if you take care of that, God will take care of everything else. Beautiful, beautiful post, man. And you know, is 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 better is 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 easier said than done for some, for most people, right? Because a lot of people, you know, they a lot of people don't even don't even think to go and make a relationship with the Creator before making a relationship with other people, right? So that's a great that's a great post. We worry about everything else and try to make everything else fall in line, but the one who's capable of putting things in perspective for us, we we neglect. Yeah, great post. I like that. Right? Yo, look at this one. This one had me it had me laughing because I'm this this is my kind of spirit when I'm at work. All right. Listen to this. This post says, <laughs> I ain't signing no write-ups at work. Take that ish to trial. <laughs> Imagine. Yo, that's the kind of stand some of us got to have, man. Some of these employers, man, be trying to be trying to make right, trying to give you write ups for no reason, man. Like, yo, I ain't signing nothing. Right. I need my lawyer present, man. Let's we taking this to trial, man. I like that. I like that post, man. Was that worth the post, man? It brought a smile to my face, man. It brought laughter. Right. Look at this one. This one says here. Can't be out here losing your mind over somebody who doesn't even mind losing you. Wow. Yo, now that, that's a cut right there. Can't be out here losing your mind over somebody who doesn't mind losing you. We got to think about that, family. Think about it. Sometimes we just put ourselves out there too much for other people who's not even doing the same in return. So what was the purpose of you putting out that energy? I like that post. I think this quote was worth the post, man. Next one. Stay away from people who think you're arguing every time you try to express yourself. Hmm. Let's think about that. Stay away from people who think you're arguing every time you try to express yourself. Now, with that post, you understand, uh, 
what if you expressing yourself is not even in a, in a right light? It's negative and people really are just trying to help you or what the scriptures say, admonish you, trying to correct you. But, you know, there's some people who can't take correction. I mean, this this post, it, it was it was all right. It was good. Um, but, you know, it could be taken out of context, if not, you know, seen in the right light, because there's times where people just want to argue. There's some people out there who want to argue. There's some people who's just confrontational. And those are the people that I tend to stay away from. I'm not if you confrontational, go over there with that. Don't bring that to me. My energy and my space and my circle is is is, is calm. Right. When you bring in that negative, that, that, that negativity, and I'm, sh I'm, sh I'm showing you that what you bring in is, is, is out of order, and then you start to argue, this post is not for you, all right? You're not expressing yourself at that time. If everybody is telling you that you got a problem, nine out of 10 times, or matter of fact, 10 out of 10 times, you have that problem, right? So we got to be able to examine that and be able to take correction, family. Oh. Let's go to the next one. Listen to this one. This one says, don't believe everything you think. <laughs> Don't believe everything you think. I like that quote because you know why? It takes me back from when I was younger. I was working at, um, I used to work at Models, And I had a manager who was always on my case, man. And he pulled me aside one time and this is what he told me. And I'll never forget this quote. You know what I'm saying? This is the, I'm, this, I'm telling y'all, this is a real life quote. This is a quote that he told me in real life and it's stuck in my head and I can't shake it, right? This man told me, he looked at me, he said, whoever you think it is, isn't, and whoever you think it is, isn't, is. Let me say that again, right? Maybe I'm, I might have messed it up. He said, whoever you think it is, isn't, and whoever you think isn't, is and i have no clue as to why he said that to me at that time being a young you know black man you know trying to trying to come up i had no clue why he said that but he said that to me and it's and it stuck to me man and that this post actually reminded me of that don't believe everything you think because sometimes we can make ourselves believe things that's not true and that is a dangerous thing that anyone can do to themselves man great post i feel like this post was or this quote was worth the post right listen to this one this one says normalize black women loving themselves choosing themselves freeing themselves and healing themselves mm. now from my walk of life do i feel like this post or this quote was worth the post to who needs to hear it. But it says normalize black women loving themselves. I mean, I don't see anybody stopping black women from loving themselves. Not surely not me. Right. And it says choosing themselves, choosing themselves. Now, that sounds kind of crazy because a woman was from what I believe and what I understand, a woman was not created to choose herself. She was created from man right to be a help me the word woman means from man so choosing themselves freeing themselves freeing yourself from what and that was i feel like that was the tool that was given to our our sisters man right the black power black woman power movement whatever you want to call it in the 1960s you know our, our sisters never had to deal with that you know what i'm saying but you know we our sisters were duped to you know to join this right it says freeing themselves and healing themselves. I agree with that last line, healing yourself, because sometimes a lot of uh, a lot of the, the the issues that we 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 face and we have are actually self inflicted. So one has to understand how to heal themselves or to um, just agree uh, and just accept acceptance, accept what it is that you're going through. But the rest of that quote, I don't really agree with that too much because choosing themselves and freeing themselves. What are you, what are you freeing yourself from? You don't want to be under a man? Listen, man. The best marriages come with or comes from, you know, a man and woman that can agree, man. And, and a, a man operating in what he was called to be and a woman operating what she was called to be, man. And that's another topic, man. Hopefully I don't get no I don't get no dislikes for this. But hey, it is what it is, man. Right. Next quote. This one says. 
I overthink, I overlove, I overcare. But once I'm over it, it's over with. Mm, that's deep. But this sounds like somebody who's scorned. This sounds like this. This post sounds like it's coming from somebody who's hurt, right? Because you know I can't find any scripture that says you overlove, man, brother. You love too much, sister. You love too much, man. Stop loving all the down all the damn time, all right? I can't find nothing to to to, to back that up. So I, I don't I don't feel like I mean to me this post wasn't worth the this quote wasn't worth the post. But um you know hey to each his own, all right? Another one says this. Listen to this. Don't let this world have you thinking that the cutoff game is better than the power of recon- reconciliation. It's not. And that's how, how beautiful is that? The last post was showing somebody who's able to cut people off and somebody quoted after that post. Don't let the world have you thinking that the cutoff game is better than the power of reconciliation. So this post right here was worth it. This quote, man, beautiful quote, because why? This is showing the power of reconciliation. Too, ma- too many of us, and, and you know, I used to operate like that, man. You cross me once, I'm cutting you off. And if you know me, or if you knew me, you know, right? That cutoff game, man, uh, that, that thing, it, it don't really help you too much. It never helped me, because why? You actually burn bridges. Because who's to say down the line, you're not going to need help from somebody, right? But that was a great post. I like that one, right? Look at this one. This one says, if you feel like you're losing everything, remember that trees lose their leaves every year and they still stand tall and wait to be better for better days to come. I like that. It's a nice post, right? But I ain't going to compare myself to a tree. I can't do that. But I, I, I see the concept, All right? Look at this pill. Look at this post right here. This one says this. I don't need a reason not to like you. Or already, this is, this is, this is negative. But you know, you gotta let people do what they do. It says, "I don't need a reason not to like you." I'm Jamaican. Me, it says this, but I'm gonna try to do it in the patois. It says, "Me spirit just not take we or take ye or take you." I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry for all the Jamaicans watching this right now. Right. All my Benjamites. Don't slay me on this one. It says so. I'm, I, I, I feel like it's trying to say it like this. My spirit just not take you. Listen, comment below if you know how to say it properly, man, because I can't do it. But this post, man, uh, is, is, is it's kind of negative, man. I, I, I don't think that. We should look at it like, you know, as if people don't like us, you know, anybody with an evil eye, you know, what I'm saying just naturally think that someone is after them. So, you know, hey, to each his own. And that's it, family. And this is the show. Right. Was your quote worth the post, man? And you know what? Before we leave, I'm going to leave y'all with the, the greatest quote. Let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. And I feel like if we was to live by that quote, all these other quotes wouldn't mean anything. But, you know, nonetheless, thank you guys for tuning in. Peace. See y'all next time.